Welcome to Core Solutions CX360 Mobile EHR Session 2. We hope you enjoyed the previous session where we demonstrated how to load your data on your device and search for existing clients. In today's session, we're going to learn how to create a new client. This is an important feature because it allows users the flexibility to deal with an unscheduled service event. While some mobile EHRs force you to work on scheduled events and only provide access to pre-populated client lists, Core's CX360 Mobile EHR offers you access to all of your clients based on permissions. Furthermore, once a new client is created, this information will be synced back to your main EHR. Being able to immediately capture new client information in the field improves the efficiency of the service and more importantly, the accuracy of information being recorded because there's no latency between when the information is provided and when it's documented. The scenario we are going to use for this session is that the user is part of a crisis or act program which requires the user to spend a significant portion of their day outside of the traditional office setting. A situation arises where the user is meeting a client for the first time and wants to be able to immediately capture the information at the point of care. This is illustrated on the slide here. Core's CX360 Mobile EHR has built-in field flexibility. We can support happy path predictability where there's a scheduled appointment, the client exists, and the service can be completed. But we can also support real-life preparedness, where we're notified about a crisis situation for a new client that doesn't exist in the system and therefore a new record needs to be created, and we can then complete the unexpected service. In order to start our demonstration, we need to log in to the core CX360 mobile EHR. This screen should look familiar from yesterday. This is where we supply our username and our password, and then we can click the OK button to enter into the application. Instead of searching for an existing client like we did yesterday, what we'll do here is go to the top left hand side of the screen and click on the new client button here in blue. This will bring up the screen as you see. First, we'll be required to fill in the demographics. For our demonstration purposes, a new client record can be created by just adding in the client's first and last name. All other fields are optional and can be configured to meet your organization's requirements. Let's go ahead and create the client record. First, we need the name. We need his last name. We need to supply the date of birth. We can assign a gender. We can also supply the address. We can add in the city. You can see that we have a predictive text here that keeps keystrokes down to a minimum and allows the user to select the city. The state was pre-populated. We can add in the zip code information. We could also add in a phone number. You'll notice that the phone number fields are pre-formatted so that the hyphens are automatically added for the user. Let's say for example that your organization would like to also collect the data referral, the referral source, and the program to which the client will be enrolled. This can be done by going to the minus sign by demographics and clicking on that and then clicking on the plus sign by referral. We would add in the referral date. We could add in the referral source. We could also add in the program. Again, these drop down menus can be configured by your administrator for your organization. Once this is complete, we can go to the top right hand side of the screen and go to the green button that says save and click it. You can see with minimal keystrokes and very little information we were able to create a new client record. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more additional information to this client's record. Let's start with contacts. We go to contacts and we click. This will bring up the new contact functionality. We go to the green button that says new and we click on that. We can then begin to add in additional contact information for this client. We could assign a relationship. In this case, it is indeed the spouse. And we could also assign a phone number. Again, you'll see the pre-formatted sequence for the phone numbers. Once this is finished, we can again go up to the top right hand side of the screen and click the green saved button. 
you'll know that you'll notice that the contacts were added to the client's record by this black box here. Jane Smith is now the spouse connected to David Smith. Let's just go through one more sequence of adding additional information to this client's record. We'll go to the appointments. You click on appointments. Again, that brings up the new appointment functionality. You would then go to the green button that says new and click on that. You'll see that it inherited David Smith as a client. And now we're going to start to set in the appointment details. We can set a start time. We can enter in the end time. And we can also describe the kind of service. And we can also assign a location. We could also put in comments. Once this is done, to complete the assignment of the appointment, you would then click the green OK button here in the top right hand side, and this would return you to the previous screen. As you can see, it's easy to create a new client and add additional information to Core CX 360 Mobile EHR. Each step was designed to be accomplished with minimal keystrokes, which is important for managing a crisis. Additionally, we're providing you the flexibility to manage an unscheduled service event. It's important to remember, upon syncing this information, it would be used to complete multiple sections of the client's record, including referral and intake. In our next session, we'll go through adding additional information, such as problems, allergies, and medications, to this client's record. We want to thank you for your time, and we hope you have a great day. Thank you.